Hey beer troopers, I'm enjoying one of the rare days when it's actually warm, almost summer warm in San Francisco and I thought it would be great to do a wheat beer review outside here and then it's great because I'm only wearing what two layers, usually I'm wearing four because I'm a wuss but anyways I'm going to be reviewing this beer uh, Mission Street Hefeweizen which you could buy at Trader Joe's and I got the idea of buying this beer because I saw Mark of video beer reviews review it and you know what he said for two bucks it's actually pretty good and I like me some good Hefeweizen so I thought okay I'm gonna give this a shot here so here we go it's a 4.7 percent ABV um, and I guess if you want to know more about it uh, just continue watching this video and also check out Mark's review as well too so here we go it's got a nice standard Hefeweizen kind of smell and I actually got a proper Hef glass here. So, let me, here we go. I should give the right amount of head too. Wow, this is actually really carbonated. Hmm. It's got a foamy white head to it. I wonder if the bubbles are actually a bit on the big side. I don't know if it's if it's bottle conditioned or not, but um, I don't know. It's, it's just the bubble seems more artificial. Seems like that's my initial impression. But the color here looks great. It's orange. It's very cloudy. Um, yeah, it's almost got this uh, like a pumpkin orange color. Let me pour a little more here. I'm sure there's going to be some sediment going on. So let me give this a smell. You hear that opera singer? It's next door neighbor. Mmm, <laughs> smells smells good. It's got a good coriander smell, just standard hefeweizen smell. It just smells like it's gonna be a good hef. Mmm. Yep. Well, why don't I go ahead and dive in here? Come fight. Oh, no, it's a hefeweizen, so prost. You know what? Mark was right. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Man, if, if you want a good Hefeweizen for a cheap price, I mean like less than Blue Moon, this is actually pretty darn good. I'm, I'm quite impressed for the price. Now, the, the flavor does die out pretty quick, but it's not, it's not like it ends tinny or watery at the end. It, it doesn't have a bad finish in it either. Yeah, yeah, it's it's got a good mouth feel. The bubbles isn't all fake and stuff. And um, yeah, I don't have a problem with the flavor. Why don't I uh, see if I could pour the rest of it? Get some sediment. Eh, not much difference. I think I remember Mark saying it wasn't much difference after after pouring the rest of the sediment. Yeah. Yeah, there's none left. Um, yeah, yeah. It's actually great drinking half a bison in a proper half a glass here. Yep, you know, honestly, this is this is pretty good. It is pretty good. Um, I think I think all the Germans would be like, uh, it's like mediocre or not too good but and I, I, I could see how that is because it's, it is you know it's not top of the line but for two dollars for this size a bomber size and the amount of flavor that you get and on top of that it's American made is actually pretty darn good I am really surprised I I was skeptical even after Mark even though Mark said that it's pretty good but it is pretty good. Two dollars for a 22 ounce. This is a really good deal. Um, of course, there's like Weihen Stefaner and Francis Conner, uh, Paul Ender. All those are much better, of course. They're German made. They have much more uh, variety of, uh, just a broader spectrum of flavors. But this, for the price, American made, cheap, it's, it's really, really good. So, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about it. I'm going to enjoy the rest. 
Uh, this is uh, Mission Street Hefeweizen at Trader Joe's, two dollars. And they also have a brown ale, but I don't like brown ale, so I'm not gonna bother. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another beer blog. Come fight.